Hello everyone, I'm Jay Gombach here at Porsche Center Calgary uh, and with me today is a Porsche Cayman. Uh, today we're going to run you through a few of our models and we're going to tell you why I think that this model behind me is the best. Uh, as an overview, uh, the Cayman is available in a number of different options. Uh, this being the standard Cayman, which is a two liter turbocharged uh, engine putting out about 300 horsepower. Uh, above that, there is an S model, which is a 2.5 liter turbocharged engine putting out about 350 horsepower. Then we move into the new four liter models, which uh, some of the other guys have to represent there. And I'll let them get into those a little bit, but it's GTS. Then we get into the GT series. There's a GT4 and even now a wild GT4 RS. So why do I think that this Cayman is the best car? I'm not gonna say it's the fastest car. I think it's the best car. So all Caymans are mid engine. What does that mean? That means that the engine sits just above the axle in the rear, uh, making it very balanced, uh, low center of gravity and very easy to drive. Now, this car, like I said, has the standard engine. Uh, it is a four cylinder, uh, which I know not everyone agrees with. I do think you should come and drive it before you say too much about it. I think they've done a lovely job uh, and everything is going the way of the turbo. It's more efficient uh, and it's fun to drive. This particular car, has a manual transmission. And that's one of the reasons why I think it's the best. Uh, with a smaller turbocharged engine, you're in control. Uh, you get to pick the RPM, you get to hold that turbo in whatever range you like and really enjoy the car. Really why I think this is one of the best cars is because of the price. So you can get into a standard Cayman for under $100,000. For under $100,000, I don't think there's a brand new car that is more fun than this one. Uh, the one behind me is specced with a lot of nice options and will put you just over that mark at about $110,000. But still, when you're looking at our competitor cars, there's nothing in a mid-engine range with manual transmission uh, that is nearly as fun to drive as this guy. That's my argument, uh, beautiful car, like an adult go-kart, you don't need more horsepower. It is very fun to drive. Out of the model range, because there's a number of different Caymans, um, this is my personal favorite and for a variety of reasons. Um, as far as the Cayman model goes in general, absolutely fantastic vehicles. Um, for one, um, they're mid-engine, smaller, more nimble than what you'd find in the 911 and the rest of our lineups. Um, they're just the more dedicated sports car, kind of out of everything that we have here. Um, and what particularly appeals to me about the GTS 4.0 is, and it's partially in the name, is that um, as of 2022, this car is going back to a bigger um, four-liter naturally aspirated flat, flat six in it. Um, Revs, yeah, revs out to 8,000 RPM, um, provides an incredible amount of engagement, which I'm going to get into a little bit. Um, I will mention that one of the perks of having the mini set up in this vehicle and it being a little bit smaller is you get, for one, fantastic handling, um, the pivot point on the vehicle, it's right next to your hip, um, super easy to control, kind of anticipate where the vehicle is going. And then in terms of the joy, overall drive aspect of the car too, um, you get fantastic road feel coming back from the vehicle. Um, with a four liter motor, it's incredibly engaging to get that performance, kind of having to wring it out of the vehicle. Um, and it provides a very visceral drive, different when comparing to what you get out of a GT4 or GT4 RS. Um, this is going to provide like an incredibly visceral drive, but at the same time, it's going to be usable in a whole lot more scenarios than you, you'd find in your GT4 RS, GT4, any of those models. Um, so for one, if you're road tripping, going into the mountains, um, it's going to be a little more comfortable, but compared to let's say a Cayman or Cayman S, Suspension is going to be tuned a little bit stiffer. Um, like I said, you're having to rev the car out to get that performance, um, which is part of the joy in it. Um, it's a very engaging car. Um, and then this particular vehicle is going to have your PDK transmission. So that's your seven speed dual clutch transmission. Um, it's going to be shifting faster than what you can do manual if all out speed's important to you. And then at the same time, as far as an automatic transmission goes, the PDK transmission is incredibly engaging. It provides you with a very mechanical feel still. It's lightning quick and my favorite part of it is just how kind of intuitive the system is. Um, it does a really good job of knowing what gear to be in when you're coming out of corners, um, trying to put that tire down and accelerate. So for one, the GTSs, you're going to get a whole bunch of options as standard on it. You're going to get bigger 20 inch wheels. You get the sport design body packages standard on it. Um, options like sport suspension, so PASM, as it's known in the Porsche community. You're going to have sport exhaust. This particular one has sport chrono, so you'll have 
Sport, Sport Plus mode, the ability to do launch controls. And then just taking a look through this one as well, the interior is absolutely lovely. Um, you're going to have a leather interior with contrast chalk stitching in the vehicle, contrast um, chalk seat sensors as well to match the stitch. Looks absolutely fantastic and it's an option that you don't see in, for one, a whole lot of other brands and manufacturers out there, or even amongst our lineup. Um, you don't always see this, uh, this level of customization in the vehicle. Um, absolutely lovely. Um, but that's essentially the rundown of why this is my favorite Cayman model out of everything. The best Cayman money you can buy these days. You heard my colleagues Jay and Zach talk about the Cayman and the Cayman GTS. Ignore everything they said. This is the best car and here's why. So the GT4 RS is the newest Cayman version. This car has nearly 500 horsepower coming from a four liter flat six. It's basically a race car. The car has carbon ceramic brakes in this configuration. You can order it with steel brakes, but the Wyzak package giving you the carbon fiber body structure pieces. You have this mated to a PDK gearbox. It's as fast as possible. This car will do it all. It's, it's completely capable on the track, still possible to drive on the street, but it's a car that's gonna give you blistering performance and raise every hair on your body so that you're well aware of what's going on. Additionally, this car, you can buy it. Yes, it's expensive, but you might not lose any money. If anything, maybe a little bit. It's a car that will hold its value incredibly well far into the future. So a very smart buy. A little bit harder to get your hands on. We have a pre-owned example right here, but certainly a car that you'll never regret buying. It's one of those opportunities where you're going to never regret it. It's going to give you all of that performance. It's a car that will give you every bit of enjoyment every time you step into it. Feel free to drive it on the track, feel free to drive it on the street, and you'll have an incredible journey with this car. So that's my feeling on the Cayman GT4 RS. I love it. I think it looks extraordinary. I think it stands out against any car we offer. I, I think this car is ready for a drive, so come down and check this one out. Thank you.